Even though everything is just PNGs being slided across the screen, I'm able to farm the drama. Bro, that blue lock, you know, animator speaks out about why it's so bad. Bro, I was just reading a Reddit post. That shit's banging for almost 20k views. Crazy. I hear today's episode was actually much better. And even though things aren't being animated, it's still relatively hype to watch, right? The hype is definitely still there. Isagi has unlocked his new technique. Instead of thinking and then moving, he's thinking while moving. <laughs> Ultra instinct. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh my god, Rail, Rail. <laughs> is Rail really him? I mean, he is like a super rich kid. Goes to like a fancy ass school. They're all glazing, but to us in Blue Lock World, like Rail is. That dude's kind of. He's just a fat elf. Wow, Mr. Perfect. <laughs> that music, basketball, everything, but soccer. The one thing he sucks at. He low key Julian Concern from Beyblade. Will Rail actually be significant? Will he catch up to Nagi and prove his worth as a potential member against the U20? Or is he just gonna get cucked? Oi, Nagi. Yo. What's going on, friend? <laughs> Keep your eyes on me. Why don't you look me in the eyes when we make love anymore, Nagi? Hmm. Alright. Chameleon. Is that Rail? Do we know anything about Rail actually? I, I low-key don't even remember his like quirks, his powers, whatever he does. Is there something specific about him? Other than being so fucking like mid that Nagi left him? Chameleon kind of hints at Rail's ability to adapt to the situation. Maybe even camouflage and be invisible? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 this doesn't happen. You, 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 you. This is fucking audacious. You, do, do you know what actually happened? The ball here, the ball movement is real. Are you gonna tell me frame by frame this actually got animated? Don't fucking lie to me. Lies. Ryu scene again. Mm. No, no, no. I moved while thinking. It's a reflex. <laughs> it's funny how through the camera, there is no aura. <laughs> Makeup off. No filters, bro. When the camera is observing the play, nothing is happening. There's no special effects, bro. Don't fucking lie to me. There's no aura happening. <laughs> Will he be able to reproduce it though in the next matches? <laughs> Thanks, Yori. Thanks, bro. Is it be too slow otherwise? Tetris? Yeah, you can't think. You gotta, you gotta move. You gotta move while thinking. どんどんスピード上がったら甘くなるやん。いや。リン君とか指導君と共存できるプレイ難しいことやと思って。I don't know how many people will take on this advice, but if you care about Tetris at all, there's an amazing channel called Summoning Salt where they go over long videos. It's going to be like hour long videos talking about speedrunning different games and the Tetris version of speedrunning, bro. It's fucking crazy. You know, you know this limitation? So back in the day, for Nintendo SNES or some shit, the, at, at, at a certain point, beyond like a, there's like a death level where it's going too fast. It's intentional that you shouldn't be able to play at this level. It's meant for you to die. But people figured out different mechanics. And one was called like, I don't know, Turbo Tap or something where they basically just spam the shit out of the button where the pieces could move fast enough where you could play at that speed. And then later on, it evolves into something crazier where they basically open the controller at the fucking bottom. They're fucking like crawling multiple fucking inputs to it so it can move even faster. Anyways, if you care about like speed running and Tetris stuff like that, it, it's crazy. You should go watch Summoning Salt. Yeah, hyper tapping. That's the exact term. Hyper tapping, which then got power crept by like rolling which is like they have like gloves they, they they wore specific gloves to get as many fucking inputs as possible 
自分が今使えるブロックはどれくるブロックはどんな形かをして行動する you gotta do it. すごいゲーマーは脳でそれを超最善のボタンを入力し続けてるこれサッカーでも同じボタンを入力し続けてるこれ No more puzzle pieces, bro. We're gonna get Tetris pieces now. <laughs> The puzzles got power c r i p by Tetris. Sayane, Hiori is great. I don't know too much about Nanase, but Hiori is great. Soft or so no mama, hard or great up for the man. 5G から見る 5G タワーズ !Watch out for the microchips! ーーイーサギーエヴォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフォーフ There is nowhere, no way Granny's boy or Predator is gonna pass. They literally didn't do fucking jack shit. It was straight up, Shigiri was there sometimes, and Karasu, and you know, the ninja guy. These two, they definitely were better than Granny boy and Predator, but like, do you think they'll get in? I feel like Isaki definitely will, but these, maybe he already, Nanase really didn't do much. He even knows it himself. Yeah. But I could follow you, Isagi, because you're so average. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The friendly trio. Yeah, of course, you have no regrets. You scored the goal. Damn, they didn't even fucking animate the high five, bro. They, they off screen the high five. What is this? Yeah. Can you just do it all the time? Not yet, but he'll get better. Good googly moogly, that's a lot of motion back there. Alright, here we go. And you know what? The person I'm most hyped for is Temple Monk. Fuck Nagi. Fuck Reo. I do love Gagamaru though. But Temple Monk, bro, I need to see Temple Monk pop off and make it into the team. We have Mr. Glam as well. They're moving. That fuck moving was kind of cool. Yo, where my boy Baro at? Yo, what's going on today? Why are they running? This is so weird. Yo, Apis Studios actually putting in some work? Huh. What, 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 what the fuck? It's moving. It's moving. That's right. It's no longer 8-bit studios, we're 16-bit now. <laughs> Maybe we can hope for 32 by the time we get to U20. Alright, nice pass. Who is this guy? Mr. Big Guy. The tallest player. Bro, go play basketball. Also, what the fuck is that Vegeta-ass hairline, bro? You should not be playing fucking soccer. Oh, oh. No antenna. Youthful monk. Wow. Wow, Rin actually listened. <laughs> he actually gave the temple monk. Let's go. Let's go. Show me. Show me your legit. Fuck you, Reo. Get out of here. Nah, my monk will clear easy. Neither. Fuck them both, dude. Just surpass Rayo right now and score yourself. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I'm hearing some sort of like Buddhist chants in the background, and his strat is basically 
I'm gonna just ride the coattails of someone fucking OP. Yup. I'm gonna offer myself, but I know my limitations, and a genius will yank me to the U20 stage. <laughs> I'm sorry. You folded. You folded. Ooh, you see that movement? He's actually moving. Love it. Oh, that's a lot of fucking. Yo, Gakamuru also packing some shmeat behind there. Ooh. He was not even mad. Who is this guy? Number five. Yo, this guy's got fucking goggles on. What is this? The gunners? Oh my god. What's this guy all about? Top six. Number five. He is top five, actually. The fifth best player. Yukimiya Kenyu. Okay, things are moving. Things are moving. Okay. Number one guy. Really? So he is the best in a 1v1. That's what his thing is. He said it himself. Let's go, Goggle Man. He low key reminds me of that guy from Diamond No Ace. Ain't there a character like him that has this kind of hairstyle and the glasses? What are they gonna do when Bachira starts playing? Cause like, you need to animate it. Like season one Bachira movement, this is like more frames than every fucking episode of season two combined. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Yo, stop glazing, stop him. The one-on-one -on -one emperor. True egoist. What kind of shot is this? High arc. Drive shot. Drive shot. Glam. Glam. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Glam literally shows up like it's a fucking L'Oreal shampoo commercial. Nice. Oh, Nagi. How does he convert this? He's still in there. What the fuck just happened there? Did he trap the? Did, did he just one touch the ball mid air and then volley it, or did he hit the ground? I don't know. I think he landed though. Did he just make up hyper dimensional? <laughs> Bro realized that the gap got widened. The gap got even bigger before he got left behind. Now, what are you gonna do about this? Is Reo just gonna give up? Is he gonna match this hyper-dimensional level? Sick. Reo, stop glazing, get better. What can you do? They're just improv <laughs> Yeah, it kinda does look like that, right? They're not really fucking coordinating this shit. It's just like raw talent. And they're just making fucking plays out of nowhere. Oh, first name basis. Oh my god. You really gonna fucking touch his hand in front of me? You you really you, after all we've been through, you you going you gonna fucking touch another dude's hands? After I said look at me? This is fucked up. We're getting cucked right now. He's getting cucked so hard. <laughs> you're not mine. What? <laughs> what do you mean you're not mine, bro? What the fuck is he? Is he your actual boyfriend? You, you mine? He's your fucking this, your property? Look, okay. NTR, truly NT day, bro. Hey, that's a new nickname for Rindo. <laughs> That's so stupid. How usually, you know, in this pentagon like shape, the, you know, the max out is the, the edges, right? Yet they go beyond that shit. This is fucked up. You're not, he's not even part of the fucking, you know, the whole scale anymore. Technique and kick, he's the best. What is he bad at? He's not even bad at anything. It's power physical speed, but he's almost even maxed out on that too. 
Nagi is just all technique. Even more than Rin, probably, right? Yeah, he's gone even more higher. And this guy is just all kick. I don't know. But all kick. Uh, this guy is all technique. One on one emperor. Speed, very fast, though. Jack of all trades. Sometimes it's better to be just good at one thing rather than being kind of good at everything. What's Monk like, though? That's still pretty good, but not enough at hyper dimension. Monk. No. That's hilarious. They're not even trying to work together. Rin literally played around Shiro there. That's 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 the level we're at right now. We're not even caring about scoring the fucking goal. We want to score our own goal. Reo, how much are you gonna be a doomer, man? Reo, this is such a shitty mindset. Backstory? Backstory time? <laughs> You're gonna live a perfect fucking life, bro. You're literally the son of like a conglomerate. Like a... Like you're, you're like the heir of a conglomerate. Your, your dad's a billionaire. Who gives a fuck? But that's the thing. Is that... What a boring, empty life, right? That's, the, that's why he wanted to be good at soccer. Everything was given to him. Now he has to earn something. He can't even do it. <laughs> Mr. Perfect. Just studying soccer, though. Fancy ass meal. Ooh, that sucks when your dad tells you that, though. But is it for your sake instead, Dad? Maybe it's for your legacy stake and Rayo doesn't want to do it. Nah, it's for your sake, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Turning point. Turning point. All he needed was one reminder. I see the pink aura. Wait, we back? We back? They're gonna pop off? What? <laughs> what I want is right here. <laughs> While it just points at Nagi. Oh, the art kind of enhanced, I think. Yeah, if it's a, not a 1v1, he sucks, I guess. Alright, no, no, let, let's see it. Then surpass your cap! Surpass the limits! Wait, what is that? Lean into it and be proud of it? Is he basically saying, I accept that I'm mid? And this isn't him, like, breaking beyond the 99 cap, but just accepting who he is? <laughs> No longer. Okay, he's gone to 100. <laughs> no more jack of all trades. He's a master of all trades. But he's not going beyond, you know, the 100% gap. But he's basically just filled out the whole Pentagon fucking thing. Wait. A different play? He's gonna shoot? Eagle. I will change too. That's a high shot. No, it's gonna drop. <laughs> Did he copy? Did he copy the shot from Mr. 1v1 Emperor? <coughs> I think he did. The chameleon. Okay, title drop, title drop. Okay, chameleon. Basically, the chameleon copy? Well, it like camouflages to its background, right? So you could kind of like interpret this as, yes, he was able to copy the other guy's skill because he's adapting to him. <laughs> no, that was really good from Leroy. Leroy's looking really good. Got his tongue out too. Copy will never beat the original. We're just back to shooting on Rayo immediately. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, give Rayo some fucking time to shine. Like, he just scored a cool goal. 
And everyone's like, nah, he mid. Fuck that guy, bro. The copy is bullshit. Leo's copy is still in the progress of the new 5-3. Team A wins. I wanted to see Mr. Monk score, though. Top 6 to win the top 6, it's true to the top 6. Okay, you can work on this, yeah. I lost. It was a nice goal. It was a nice goal. I was like, copy of your guys. It was fun. Aww. Are we still a thing? Are we? I don't know. I'm not sure. 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 I'll be the type of soccer that you want to play. <laughs> he wants Nagi to chase after Reo instead. Will that ever happen? I don't know. Maybe, bro. Maybe there's a lot of potential for Reo here. And what he wants is Nagi. Wait, that's the end of the episode, but there's still a lot left. Post-credit scene. Let's get it, let's get it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Post-credit scene, let's go. Big bro. Big bro and the boomer execs. Look at the bottom lashes, too. Agent. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Genius. Who the fuck is this balding fan boomer? Ooh, but he deserves this shit. Yo, these execs suck. Itoshi Sai, speak yo shit. Oh. Damn. Is he calling U20 shit right now? He, he, he literally calling U20 shit because he is... What is it? What's his title? Isn't it like... I don't... There, there was some crazy title he had in season one, right? He's supposed to be like... The world elite? Is it from Japan only? Was it on a global scale? But he's basically not part of U20 team and they're bringing him on to play on the U20 team and now he's shitting on them because that's how bad they are. Damn. Itoshi Sae. Yeah, new gen 11 is I think what they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he's more infatuated with the Blue Lot project than U20. That speaks volumes. Like, I definitely would trust this guy's like, you know, Instincts on who has good skills and potential. He thinks that Blue Lock is more important than U20. Yeah. What are you gonna do about a bitch? Yeah. We're gonna change the lineup. <laughs> Fucking bring Messi in, bro. <laughs> An overage player or even like fuck U20. Who cares about the 20 year old fucking cat, bro? Call him Ronaldo, call him Messi, fuck it. We need to keep him in. Harand. Harand, bro. At least recently, I've been seeing just clips of Harand just like popping off. Dude, that guy is a fucking tank. Somehow, he literally copied Shiro's. Not, I don't know about copy, but there's a clip where he reproduced Shiro's like back kick goal. I'm like, what the fuck? That shit's straight out of Blue Law. Oh, look at that aura. My brother. My brother? My brother. Oh, break time, let's go. But what if it's not his actual brother that he wants to play with? Imagine that Sai just like cucks Rin and he just chooses him. Because they have beef, I don't know. Lazy genius. Nagi has no ass compared to- what? Zantetsu mentioned. Not on no personality? Oh, that's why he was having his tongue out. I'm like, why is Reo like hanging his tongue out? Because a chameleon does that shit. <laughs> It'd be funny if they put him in a fucking donkey. But he's a beetle? Okay. Baro's not a donkey, he's a gorilla. Female gorilla? Why? What the fuck? BL lock ain't deep, but being the allegation. Bro, every fucking break time, different shit. They always fucking putting in a sussy ass joke. Someone cool. 
つまりクールヘドロモンスター What? 禁止牌で生まれた悲しき生命体的な The fuck? 誰がヘドロだあ、You bro いやカブトムシじゃねえ I'm the beetle あの双葉触覚はどいいところなんだよ天才レネソンミンこの遊びはやめよう誰も得しない We do And that is today's episode of Blue Lock and This is a solid episode I think this is actually a great episode and gives my hope up for U20. What changed? Isagi's not playing. And a lot of people have been saying this shit too. But due to the amount that Isagi like analyzes and thinks in his head, it makes the mats kind of choppy. And because he wasn't present to do all his yapping and kind of get in the way of the dynamic action, Maybe the studio was able to incorporate better scenes. Maybe they heard enough of the fucking complaints and they decided to actually give a fucking try. I doubt it, but what matters is that they can give us a pretty decent, you know, experience if they want to. Even if it's PNG lock, like last episode was pretty hype and today's was even better due to the shit moving. So I have my fingers crossed actually, right? My hope is there, but remember always hope for the best. But prepare for the worst. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.